Hello, my name is Dutch Commando and today I've got a little review of the VX220 frame. It's an upgraded version of the 210. And yes, as the name implies, it's 10 mm longer motor to motor. And it comes standard with these bumpers or braces that would save your FPV camera in a crash. It's a nice looking frame, so let's put it on the bench and check it out. Well, let's see what's inside the nice white box. So for starters, a manual. VX220 assembly schematic. You don't see that too often in the more random Chinese frame boxes. But it's also always nice to have some instructions. We've got some standoffs. Some screws and spacers. Some more screws, long screws, short screws, 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 and the arms and the spacers or bumpers or how you want to call them. And some random frame parts. It all comes in a nice ziplock except for the arms. We've got a lot of carbon fiber parts over here. This is the lipo tray, so you can put this at the bottom of your lipo. To save your lipo a little bit I would put some rubber or something like that on it. And we've got the lower frame part or the middle frame part. This is the lower frame part, the top frame part, and this would make your camera mount for the GoPro, for the HD cam, and for your FPV cam you've got two options of mounting, I guess, I don't know for sure. But it's always interesting to have more carbon than you need. Always nice to have options. Right? Right. Now let's take a look at the arms. They look nice and thick, no beveled edges. It's a tip you always have to do if you get frame parts or arms like this. Take a file or, or some sandpaper or a Dremel or whatever and Take off the roughness of the edges, just bevel them a little bit. And let's see how thick they are. 4 millimeters and 4.15 millimeters. Four. And it is quite. <coughs> they're quite sturdy. So just, just shy over 4 millimeters, just not 5, but shy over 4 millimeters. These are the braces for in between the arms, which can save your camera if you crash. And those are, let's see here, 2, 3, 2, 2.2 millimeters. Focus, yeah here, focus. Come on, focus. Yes. And the top plate comes in at about also 2.2 millimeters. 2.2. The bottom mount is the same. Well, it's just shy on the 2.2. The cross member, or however you want to call it, it's a little bit thinner. It's 1. Point, uh, 1.9 millimeters, so 2-ish. I don't care about the battery compartment or the battery tray. The camera 
mount is coming in at, excuse me when I, I am looking, also 1.9 millimeters, so also shy under 2 millimeters. So we've got these parts who are 2-ish millimeters. I don't think the GoPro mount or the HD camera mount is anything other than that. And yes, it's also just shy of 2 millimeters. So nice and sturdy arms. You can go there. So at first glance it looks like a very nice set. But it won't fly like this and I can't show you how it looks like this. So I will build it. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! And it's done! Yes! I have cheated a little bit. Because these two braces are normally held in place with motor screws. And I used a little bit of double sided tape to keep it in place. Because I want to know how much it weighs and I want to show you how it looks when it's just a built up frame. And let's see how heavy it is. 79 grams and we also have a lipo plate, battery plate. And then it comes in at 84. So the bare frame, 79, 78, 79 grams. That's very nice. It's not very, very, very light, but it's still very good indeed. Now, it is very, very sturdy. I have to put in a lot of power to bend it, to flex it. And all in all, it, it seems like a very pretty darn sturdy frame. The brace in front should save your FPV camera a little bit if you make a serious crash. It will save your camera if you crash at a gate and that kind of stuff. But since it's just two millimeters, I don't know how many crashes it can handle, but no problems there because you can order these as spares. Also, you can order the arms as spares. So the VX220, it's a very nice looking frame. And I will put my uh, some gear in it, some motors, and a flight controller, some ESCs, a camera, and all the stuff you need to take it out flying. And then we will check out how it flies. See you then in part two. Bye bye.